it's like we're falling back in love again. We're smoking and we're sipping. We're doing it. What is going on, everybody? My name is Steven or Z Crowns here, and I'm coming at you with my seventh episode of Road to Division One. Hockey Ultimate Team NHL 14. So here we are. Just check out the team here. Taylor Hall just picked him up. He's an absolute monster for left wing. Put Logan Couture at center with the captain card and Phil Kessel on the right wing with the assistant card. And I got Marion Hossa and Patrice Bergeron and Gabrick on the second line. And that's pretty much all the uh, all that what's different in the squad. Nothing else really, and I got Mark Andre Fleury in goal, and let's jump into the gameplay here. So right here we're coming out of a guy using the um, old Mighty Ducks jerseys, and that was bad play by me. Just give it right to him, to, and he makes it one nothing. But don't worry, Phil the thrill comes down, just snipes one. If you're gonna back up, just let me shoot it with Kessel, and makes it one one with an absolute snipe. And there's Gabrick with a sn er, shot, good save for their goalie, but he plays it out to me, kind of like I did a few minutes, seconds ago, and I just come around the net and snipe one to make it 2-1. to one. And here we are in the second, who is that? I think it's Krejci making some moves over the bend, and just, bleh, I don't know, just puts it in, 3-1. It's a nice goal right there, then Krejci and Ben again, boom, 4-1 bar down baby, nice goal right there, and Ben again, 5-1, the man is a monster, he's actually so good, I really recommend him if you want a good player, and there's Gavrik, 6-1, to put the game out of reach there and as he quits in the third period, so here we are in the second game, and look at that, that goal almost goes in, but luckily uh, my goalie makes a nice save and plays it up to David Krejci, and he's gone. Look at that speed. Over to Vander Kane. Just slotted in. one nothing lead. Maybe I have a bit of lag right here. But he's coming down the right side in the second period. Just comes out. And my goalie hugs the post. And nice cross crease there to Martin Hansel. Pretty nice goal right there. But my goalie should have uh, made a better effort to save that. So Ben here comes. Intercepts it. And comes down. Backhand. Forehand. Boom. Again, the man is an absolute monster. He's great for 50k. I think that's what he goes for. And he's so good. There, here's Krug over to Couture, back or er, forehand, backhand, boom, three to one in the second period. And who's this? This is Kessel inside, outside, backhand, forehand. Again, <laughs> all the backhand, forehands, or whatever goals to make it four to one. Nice goal there by Kessel. So, and he that was the end of that game. So this is jump into the third and final episode. And we're coming up against the Edmonton Oilers fan, and he's just gonna come in, walk one or slap one. Sorry, and I I was bad defense on my part, really bad D. So there's Semin coming in, making some dangles, sort of, and just goes behind the net. It comes out in front and slots it in with the backhand. Nice goal right there by Semin to make it one one. The guy he's really good too. And so I passed up the Kessel, and he's gone. He splits the D, forehand, backhand, forehand, two two one. For my team over Bobrovsky, the man Big Bob. So here's Bergeron just outweights the defender and puts it in somehow. That was kind of weird goal, but I think it went like forehand or sorry, not forehand. Uh, what was it? Uh, just kind of got pushed into the net. It was kind of weird. And Nick Backstrom just walks in, clap one on the power play to make it four to one. Great goal right there. He's awesome. And then uh, Taylor Hall over the Kessel cross crease. Nice goal right there. And now it's 5-1, and he comes in and just uh, puts one in the empty net, or empty side. So, boys, if you like what you guys see, and you want to see guys more of this, so please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Yes.